Hey kids, Invertical here. Welcome back to Autonauts. Today we are going to look at fish burgers. Uh, between episodes, I have taken the time to build one section of kitchen for the fish burgers. I have to literally double this. Uh, this will make one one batch of fish burgers. I like to try to keep uh, two ovens going uh, to feed the colonists. However, that being said. Uh, until I get the castles built, it's not that big of a deal, so I can always set it up later to and double it. Um, we also finished the research while I was setting that up. Research, please. Thank you. Not those. Research. There we go. <clears throat> I finished the research for the clothing technology which is the silk thread, the silk cloth, the ball gown, and uh, the tuxedo, and the three-piece suit. I believe we were going to dress everybody in tuxedos or three-piece suits. Three-piece suits. Um, so that's something else that's going to be coming up now. Of course, that's back over here in this area where we're going to start working on building the silk manufacturing and such like that that we'll have to have going uh, from that point on it will be a matter of figuring out the importing of stuff so I've got two tables now uh, both working on art I didn't want to click on that table but hey we're, we did it we're moving I've got two tables both working on art um, so that research is getting done a little bit faster as you can see I'm getting a backlog of the 100,000 loves sitting here, so they're not getting picked up as quickly as they should, which is kind of irritating, but that's okay. And this guy here is still working on the lower level loves, and yeah, he hasn't even broken half a million. He's just picking these up, the 1,000 pointers and the 100 pointers, because these were, these at one point were getting backlogged, and these were all empty, so figure it out. One, one or the other is always not getting picked up here. Uh, but after they're done researching, I'm going to put them also on castles, so everything's going to be working on castles, which will be the last research. Um, once we build castles, we'll unlock the pyramid, and the pyramid is the final thing. Now, I don't know what the deal is with the pyramid, uh, or what to do with research after I'm done because realistically there's no reason that I can see to set this up to manufacture the the high tier woves unless I need that wove to uh, transcend if you will from the pyramid uh, so we'll figure that out but <clears throat> we're going to get into this kitchen now I've got basically uh, everything from one end to the other has been set up, hopefully, to manufacture fish burgers. The fish burgers, I need fish cakes and good dough. So behind here, I have a good dough manufacturing, which is one crude dough and one good dough, or good flour, uh, and then crude dough, of course, is beside that. The fish cakes require fish cakes raw and large clay dishes. Large clay dishes we have down here. Although I may have to improve the amount of those coming in. I don't know. Um, I expect to have a lot of shortages by the time we're done because I need large clay dishes for the cake batter as well. So this requires, each fish cake requires two large clay dishes just to manufacture one and I think they're consumed clay dishes they're not recovered uh, that comes off of a fish stew which requires uh, fish soup which comes off the the sea sea shisho shisho shami shishami is chopped up fish that's what these kitchen tables are so I got two kitchen tables serving four bowls serving two things. I have a table that I have forgot to identify. I think this table is making me the cake batter as well. Right? I 
need cake batter to make. Fish stew is crude dough. No, this is crude dough batter, not cake batter. Crude dough, crude dough. Yeah. I've got three tables making crude dough, one table making cake batter, one table making fish cakes. There we go. So that's how we're at. So we're going to have to basically start from the beginning and work our way outwards. Now unfortunately I have a feeling because I need to go to deep water and I filled in so much water around here that the deep water is way up here. And I don't know if the fish that I'm going for is going to do me any good. So we're going to start by getting a guy to make crude hand nets. So you're going to be my crude net maker. Oh my goodness, caps lock is stuck on. There we go, without the caps lock. Teach, your job is to go and pick up a pole and five planks. So I need one pole. I'm gonna put that into the table. And one planks. I'm gonna put that in the table. going to do that until this table's full. And we'll do this. Do this five times and repeat forever. So there we go. Um, I'm going to start his script. I'm going to access this. I'm going to kick these out. See if I can pick them up without tripping over them. Store one, grab the other. So he's making me a net. As soon as he's done that, we're going to grab another guy. I have a feeling I need a box, I believe. Which stores into a box. Okay. Do I have a box? We have a box. Okay, perfect. That'll work. <clears throat> okay, we have our next guy going here. We're going to make him our good fishing rod maker. Teach. Uh, this one's going to be probably a little difficult. I might have to actually make him into two parts. I, I think I'd do, I'll do that. I'll just do double robots on this. Um, a crude axle, a crank, and a good gear. So we're going to go grab a crude axle, a crank. I don't think i got enough memory for him. I'm going to have to memory upgrade this, this guy because he's going to do that forever. Okay, we're going to stop his script. I'm going to just go grab a memory on him. There we go. And he can just get to work. He'll just keep trying to pick all of these items up and put them in the box. And then I'll have another guy. He'll be a uh, good maker two. Good fishing rod maker to teach. Now this needed four poles and four strings. So what we're going to do is grab a pole, pause this for a second, now I'm going to grab three more, and then we'll teach. And it'll be the same thing, he'll come over here and grab a string, do that. Until this is full. Forever. Yeah, I could put a memory on him and then I could do this pick up two at a time and pick up two at a time. He's just going to basically be running back and forth doing one and one and one and one. I don't think there's really going to be any fast. Like, I could make him faster or I could use a better bot. But I think I'll just let him do this because I don't know how fast I'm going to consume these rods. So we'll start that script. And then we'll take the next bot. And 
teach, and you're going to be our take a fishing rod. Um, and stop recording for a second here. Okay, we're gonna have to get a bait guy going here. I forgot this guy first. Bait fish. Teach. Grab this. Here. Until. Question mark. Full. Forever. I got enough to do this. Uh, do this. Hands empty, of course. Forever until the crate is full. Boom. Okay, stop. Move here. Come to me so I can find you. the bait fish that you just picked up. There we go. Find bait fish. We're going to adjust this so it covers the same area that that guy was fishing in. Okay. And place it in box. Hands full. Repeat that. Hands full. Uh, <clears throat> or fail. Put in the box forever. That's it. He can get to work. You should now start picking up all these little fishes that this guy's harvesting. Because I can't see him in the water. Alright, now this guy. Not sure how the fishing rod works with the bait fish. So, I'm learning this now because it says. Bait fish with fishing rod. Seven out of thirty. Okay, so the fishing rod charges bait. So it's got like an internal buffer. Okay, so that gave me a salmon. Okay, until hands are empty. Oops. Uh, until hands are empty, find nearest. Thing and oops, uh, take from bait storage. That's going to be a nested loop. Um, until how do I tell if the fishing until a held object is empty, right? So until held object empty. Until the held object is empty, find the sear, the deep water, use the held fishing rod, and then if your hands are not empty, go there. I think I need a fail. I may need a fail. I don't know. Okay, because I don't know how much durability this fishing rod has. Okay, so stop recording, keep changes, have the fishing rod, and go to work. Now, from what I was reading, this should be producing is the marlin fish, the swordfish. Good fishing rod, bait, deep water, but it gave me a salmon as well, which should be coming from a fishing stick. So is it going to give me random outcomes? So I might get the salmon. Um, 
What's the other salt water deep? I might get my my. Orange root, root. Well, I'm not even going to try that one. This is a mudfish. Seawater deep, so I'm going to get the monkfish. So there's like four or five different types of fish that I will probably find here. Ah, uh, that could prove to be a challenge. Okay, you are going to make our fish fillets. You will come over here and find... Salmon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them to do any fish at all. Pick up salmon. And of course you can't stack that, right? Uh, where's my fish table? Okay, can I put these into this fish table? Okay, so it will do those. Forever. Pick up fine salmon. So maybe what we'll do is we'll do uh, until hands full. And hands empty. So I'm going to have to set a fillet guy for each of these, right? Each type of fish this guy catches, so that would be salmon. And yes, I know, I probably spelt fillet wrong. So we'll have to do that. So this would be uh, mud monk. Again, teach. Find the monkfish. And apply to this table. It's not going to be the same as the last guy, so we're just going to do that forever. Okay, good enough. We'll start him. So he's getting me salmon. Salmon. Lots of salmon. I'm not seeing any of the blue marlins yet. But that's okay. Uh, just doesn't matter which one we get. We'll get them going. I'm going to have to get a marlin fisher going or one doing that. Um, but what I'll do is I'll stop the guy collecting bait or I'll stop the guy collect doing the fishing uh, for now. But uh, next step is um, what are these called? Shisho, Shisho Shammy. No, 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 no. Don't pick him up. Whistle him up. There we go. She show Shammy one. Okay, teach. Now, <clears throat> what is the recipe for this? It's four Shammy and one weeds. So come over here, pick up one of these. And put in there and come down here and pick up one of these. That's pumpkin seeds. I don't want pumpkin seeds. I have a weed cart. Do I not? There should be a cart bringing me weeds. There is. Ah, uh, but he is loading. Okay, so I gotta wait for him to come back. Not hands full, because he's got to put four in here, right? Four. So do this times two. Um, times, please. Times two. Hands 
it's empty. This again times two. I won't have enough memory for him to do this. I uh, won't have enough memory for him to do that. Okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll just simply do it in singles then. And we can delete those two. Four times, pick up the chamois, come back. We're going to add this as a area. We'll get both tables. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bot here who's doing the bait. And I'm going to stop him for now so that I shut down the whole kitchen section for the time being. Teach. Come to the weed storage loose. Okay, and now we're going to adjust this down. there was a way you could judge exactly where that cart was. Like, that has to be adjusted. Um, and drop it into your bowl. Okay, and then do that forever. Literally one one memory bite away from being able to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna have to save him and we'll put a memory on him. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to quickly load the rest of this bowl so that we can carry on. Okay, he's good to go. So the next guy on my list is going to make fish soup. Now this one I can probably do is get away with having one bot do the water. One bot do the fuel. And one bot do the shisho chamois here. So first we're going to need you. You're gonna come over here, you're gonna grab a log. Pot. And we're going to get you to stage. Find the nearest cooking pot. Move here, then find the nearest crude cooking pot that needs stuff. And that way, you should stand here looking for a crude cooking pot, and I shouldn't have to do a hands full or her hands empty on them. So that'll be his his thing. You can go and start doing that, and that will be fuel. Next guy is going to be. Fish soup, fish soup, fish soup, fish fish wash. They gotta use words that have less hisses in them because that's awful confusing to me. Take this, put in there. Do that until 
question mark is full, being said cooking pot, forever. Find the shisho shami in the area of effect around all four kitchens, pots, cook pots, whatever they're called. Hooray, there you go. Did it not save that? Okay, why is it? Okay. And that will be your job. You will just basically load these. Again, I'll make a second guy doing the same thing for the other uh, crude cooking pot. Now I need two fish soups. So this guy can get back to work. And I need fresh water. Fresh water guy. Now I could just copy the... Uh, the thing for the other guys. I think that might be the easiest method. Um, but I don't know where one is. And I don't know where my disc is. So we're going to just grab a bucket. Come over here, grab a liquid. It's very, very, very hard to tell if you're hitting the right storage units. I could be targeting just one storage unit here, and I don't know. It's... That is exceedingly frustrating. But... Uh, it's something I'm going to have to work out if I do a future iteration of this game. Again, this one here was me trying to do it with... Uh, doing things highly ineffectively, trying to get as many, seeing if it is possible to do it using lots of little bots, not doing any complicated craftings, not doing any all-in-one craftings, just simple, simple, simple. Um, so that's why it's, it, it's very slow. So then add to this cook pot. And we're going to also add to this cook pot. <clears throat> um, these do not require water. Good. These, I think, require watery porridge, so I don't need water for anything else in here. Cool. Just one water guy. Okay, so again, it's uh, until hands are empty. Um, take this, we'll put that up in here, um, until held object is empty. We will do these. That one goes there. Find the mobile storage, go to the mobile storage, and take the mobile storage. Okay. Stop recording. Come to me so I can give you the bucket. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Why did it take hands not empty? That should be until hands empty. Miss click. There we go. Go to cooking pot and put in cooking pot. <clears throat> okay, and finally, next guy is uh, fish soup clay pot. You will come down here, take from pot storage. We're going to grab a second one. Teach.
You will go here. Add one. And add one. Oops. Try that again. Add one. There we go. Forever. You will do this until hands full. No, we'll do this times two. Because you only need two pots at a time. And then just literally add these to the thing. Do these. Now, I think this guy will be our check. So what we'll do is we'll say do this. Uh, I can't do that. Because um, he's doing both. Both, both. Uh, no, just do that forever. And he can go. Um, our Shisho Shami guy is the one who's our checks. Okay. So the next is fish soup and crude dough. So we're going to need to get a crude dough guy going. Now this is simple watery forage and crude flour. And it's literally just going to be one and one. A watery porridge and a crude flour. So, um, don't know if I have watery porridges and crude flours over here. Or if I'm taking them from over here. So it's just going to basically be the same thing. I'll just take them from over here for now. And if things change, then they change. Again, I really wish it would just lock on the cart or something. It's like... Again, this is just uh, another, just a simple repeat. Do this until the table's full forever. And that's his job. Let's make sure he runs his circuit, but basically that's the job he's got to do. Is just take from this cart and then take from this cart. Do this until the table's full. Stand here and look, sm smile a lot and wave to the boys. All right, so the next you need a fish soup and a crude dough and we need a fuel guy so we're gonna grab another guy and you will be fish stew again let me come over here grab one of these go to this location and put in there Adjust this cauldron down to just these two cauldrons. Uh, do that forever. That will keep him from pacing as long as his hands are full. Good. Next fella is going to be fish. So we're going to grab a fish soup, put in cauldron, a crude dough, put in cauldron. Until cauldron is full forever. We're just going to adjust these as areas so that we can grab multiples. I've got three doughs all in the same spot. Simple repeats. And we can do that. Now once we have all of the crude doughs guys going, this will speed up. I've, I've, all of this will speed up once we get moving here. <laughs> 